and with these bitter temperatures. Imagine not having a roof over your head, forced to sleep each night in your car or even worse, out on the streets. That's the reality for thousands of people across our region who are homeless with no place to call their own. Now, the impact of recent legislation signed into law last year has sparked significant debate. HB 1365 bans unauthorized camping or sleeping on public property. A little more than an hour ago, Orange County commissioners debated, then voted on an ordinance bringing the county into compliance with the state law. Now, some groups see the new rules as a progressive approach to homelessness, but as News 6 investigator Donovan Myrie discovered, others think it's a step in the wrong direction. Central Florida has a math problem. Simply put, regarding our homeless population, the numbers don't add up. Across the region, there are not enough facilities and funding available to get everyone who is homeless off the streets and into a safe, comfortable environment. Each year, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development conducts what's known as a point-in-time census in an effort to count the nation's homeless population. For 2024, Orange, Osceola, and Seminole counties counted 2,776 people considered homeless. Some are in shelters, some live in cars, while others sleep outdoors. In that same census, a count of how many beds are available for homeless people is also tallied up, and that's where we come up short, very short. For 2024, Orange, Osceola, and Seminole counties had only 709 shelter beds, just one-fourth of the number needed to accommodate all of the homeless people across the three counties. And now, to complicate things even more, new rules are delivering a one-two punch that could lead to bigger problems. Here's the situation. Last October, a new law, HB 1365, also known as the Florida Homelessness Reduction Act, went into effect. The first part of the legislation banned people from sleeping or camping on public property, while also mandating local governments to provide temporary shelters that included, among other things, access to bathrooms, as well as mental health and substance abuse services. Some local governments were slow to react, mostly because the new law went into effect so quickly, too quickly to ramp up enforcement and compliance. Furthermore, there were no penalties for non-compliance until now. Three months later, starting January 1st, the second part of the law kicked in. As of last week, any resident or business owner can now sue a municipality if they feel no action has been taken to remove a homeless person five days after an initial written complaint has been filed. That threat of civil action, now allowed by the new law, has governments worried and scrambling to get homeless people off the streets. Well, so far we haven't heard of any pending litigation against any town, city, or county. But again, this new part of the law has only been in effect for a week. And Matt and Ginger, like we've seen today with Orange County leaders, who within just the past two hours added new language to their code of ordinances, this new law is pushing communities into uncharted waters. Yeah, and you put up some great numbers there, but is it fair that there could be more out there that weren't counted? It's not like it's easy to count. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, people. absolutely. I mean, you know, the count basically has people, has about um, 2,700 people, mm -hmm. 709 beds. We probably know there's a lot more, and we've seen year after year that count go up higher and higher and higher. Our next count is coming up January 28th, 29th, and 30th. Um, then they'll have the numbers, I think, sometime later on in the spring, early summer. Yeah, it just seems like we keep kicking the can down the road, and by that I mean kicking that population to other counties and yeah. letting them deal and with it. And into the and woods us. and yeah. camps. Yeah, and, and, it gets, and, and, it, and that is the really tough part about it. You know, some people look at this as, this is good, you're forcing people to do something about it, but then cities are kind of going, hey, what do we do with all do? this? You know, yeah. what do we do with these folks? You know, and, I, um, you know, as we've spoken about, or I don't know if we've spoken about it, but... This is something new for WKMG. We are actually um, partnering with other media outlets to cover this story. It is a big topic. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's yeah. a tough issue. Um, we have um, ten different. Um, uh, there are ten different media outlets uh, throughout this uh, throughout the Central Florida region that are all getting together. You can see on the screen. Okay. Uh, WUCF. Um, uh, you know, uh, some of the local papers and things. And what we're going to be doing is we're all going to be looking at homelessness over the next six months. So you'll be seeing a lot more reports about this. Sounds good. Looking forward to that. Donovan, thank you so much.